back all. We're here to do the karmic third party update for the last week of the month. And yes, we will cover a little bit of the new moon energy coming through with the channeled messages. Now we do have these as pre-released first via YouTube membership. If you do wish to access these a week ahead of the game, come through and join us. You do need to join via a computer. Very separately, we do have an exciting launch via my website, and that is VIP Memberships. So if you do want to know more about that, I will put some posts up. Stay tuned and feel free to visit the website. And yes, we do personal bookings. Let's have a look at what we see coming through for the Karmic Third Party. Now, I do feel at the moment they can feel a little bit perplexed, and I'm noticing through the cards already, especially when I pulled them, I sat with the energy. And I was picking that there is a few messages coming through. Number one is those that are in a karmic relationship are feeling that they've kind of hit a snag and they do feel something in the area of love needs to change. This doesn't have to be a romantic partnership either, especially because we're moving to the moon in Libra. It can be the struggles that we're having surrounding family, home and mother. Um, what I do see is there's something from the past that the karmic energy is reflecting upon. Um, you know, this can be nostalgia of the past. This can be nostalgia of how things used to be. This can also be the way they felt about um, this individual. And I feel there's a little bit of manipulation coming through. And this was what was concerning me in the reading. A lot of times when we're dealing with a karmic third party energy, that is more the darker element of things. It's a little bit like Black Moon Lilith. You tend to find that they don't generally have the tools to deal with these challenges. They do, but it's more in the darker attribute of things, which is um, manipulation, codependency, victim consciousness. And I feel they're kind of looking at their creativity more from a point of view of, okay, well, what can I do to get things back on track? I don't feel they're actually stepping back far enough to actually um, repair their heart chakra. And I'm noticing self-love in reverse here uh, with the pink coming through. And I feel there is a blockage. There is a, a lack of forgiveness in this situation. And um, they're, they're very spiky when it comes to their feelings and their vocabulary. I feel there's a lot of fights. I feel there is um, a, a lot of resentment. They, they don't understand that through darkness comes light, but I feel they're wanting to retrograde. That's really what was coming through to me. It's like they're wanting to go down memory lane, resurrect a situation that is, is ending, so to speak. There, there's a lot of regret. I do feel some of them aren't sleeping very well. I, I do see this week as a potential that they may not be showing their brightest colours. But whatever they're trying in a tactical approach, I feel they they feel they're justified. This can be a little bit um, tactical. This can actually be stalking. I do see some of them kind of breaking into houses. <laughs> it just it feels stalkerish. But whatever they which we will go into clarifies the direction that they're heading. My guides are showing me it's not of the best. They're also making reference to, um, yes, some may be having a circumstance inside a karmic scenario ship that is transcending. We've got heaven sent here. So, some of them, like I said, there, there is a lot of upset here. There's a lot of anger and resentment. This can be driving some of them to extremes. We're actually looking at the foundation of it and the foundation, it's almost like this This has driven them to insanity. This has driven them to um, push that one bit too far. I do think this is driven by insecurity. I don't feel they they're going in where angels fair to tread, and this could be because the individual that's dealing with them um, is moving on with life and they feel left behind. But they keep making reference to they know they can't, but they're grasping at straws. I'm hearing that they don't see the silver lining in this circumstance. 
they do feel that they are speaking from, they feel they're justified to speak their mind. They're very fixed in their beliefs. They're very fixed in how this is going to go. I do feel this vengefulness, especially with the green card coming through as the outcome. Free from judgment, free to love. I do feel this jealousy of the uh, the intimate connection between the two twins. Let's dig further. What is this love in the past, please? They did think something was going to move forward um, in a more successful manner. They were supposed to learn something through this. Some of them were presuming something was going to go a lot further than it did. <clears throat> I don't think they seem to understand that uh, this tactical approach, like they're not actually grasping this could get very messy. This could get very ugly. They don't see it. Um, they're trying, like in their mind, they're trying to avoid misfortune. Um, but the tactical approach they're taking is going to cause such. I do feel they're planning a surprise attack. Um, and that can be a tactical attack. It doesn't have to be a physical attack. Or some it could be, but it, it does feel a tactical. I do feel they could be talking to individuals and gossiping. I also feel some of them are involving, like, family members and children. Some of them are letting the cat out of the bag in relation to a third party. Yep, third party. I'm also seeing that some of them are actually cross-wiring the story when they're actually explaining this. I do feel some of you could be getting communication. Some of you are going to get information through the grapevine. This can come through via the internet. Some of you, it feels they're going to phone call you. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it feels they're either going to, um, you know, send you an email or, um, and you're, I'm hearing the term unbeknownst to you. This could even be bumping to this individual, but they're, they're planning on communicating something. And I don't feel this is in relation to their love interest. I feel initially they're talking to tribe and family. I do feel the karmic individual does want to communicate. They actually see themselves in you, but not in the way you think. Some I do feel wish they could turn their life back and turn a different corner. And they do see that you're going to have that the happy beginning, and and that really hurts. Dash dreams I'm hearing. Okay, this is a very hurt individual. I don't think this week they're very happy. Yeah, I do feel the individual that is involved with them is having a real headache with this. I do feel some are actually having a breakup. Some are having a fight in relation to what they feel the ideal connection would be. And there can be dispute over finances. For some, I'm really feeling they're not even with this individual. And others, it's a family-related dynamic. Um, things are going to go in twins' favour. They've tried a few times, but there's a tactical approach they've tried previously. They're having a chat to a group of people. They're looking back what worked previously and their attempt. This is going beyond. I mean, this this looks like it's going to be bold. I'm going to pull a chakra card to see what sort of style. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah, this is anger. Okay. I do feel some of them are getting caught out in a lie and they're trying to cover their tracks. Some of them may have a secret admirer.
this this is ending a cycle. In their mind, this is unfinished business. In the other individual's mind, this is done. I do feel the individual that was dealing with them kind of feels that they're on another planet. Uh, this can be that they either have a habit, it may be that they're transcending over, um, but it's it's very hallucinogenic. It feels, it, it doesn't feel your traditional, um, yeah, it, it feels uh, viewpoints, values, very, very different perspectives, very different. Uh, they also know some of these things would take a very long time. How are they relating to this outcome this way, please? Holy. Yeah, I, th I feel they're giving in. I get. I don't feel they're going to respect the boundaries. And I do feel if something's popped off here, which I'm really feeling it has. I get that they're not going to respect personal boundaries and I feel this can be a dispute. Yeah, this can be something going down within the home. Okay. We've got the tower. Yep, they're holding, they're holding, but I feel an individual stepping in. This could be, this could be a mediator. It might be, um, it could be a professional. There is a third party involved here. I don't feel this is feminine or masculine. I actually think this is a third, third party. I do feel this individual is calling somebody in. I'm definitely getting references to habits here and a judgment being made. For some, they could actually have somebody reprimanding them. This can, this can also be if they are moving into stalker energy. For some, I also feel the care and what they're doing on their side of the fence, especially in the area of family. I feel somebody else is intervening. And it's going to be totally outside of their crowd. I absolutely feel they have no choice in this. I, I feel it's almost like, how can I explain it? Uh, intervention. That's that's the term I'm hearing. This is going to change the whole status. But I do feel some have actually cheated. I will see you for the joint connection on Friday. If you want to come see us, come join us. Uh, these individuals this week, I would be wary of them. Um, be aware it could get more aggressive as we move towards the end of Mercury retrograde. But I just get this feeling with the new moon in Libra is that some relationships are really going to break down. And oh, I do see disputes, especially over money. I definitely feel it's going to balance out. And it is bringing a new chapter. But this person is not going quietly. So keep your toots, dear. Take care. Thank you.